On behalf of the International Chickpea Genome Sequencing Consortium, I am very much pleased to announce that ICRISAT led team of 49 scientists coming from 23 organizations from 10 countries have decoded the genome of chickpea. This work has been published in Nature Biotechnology, a highest impact factor journal in the area of biotechnology. Chickpea is the second most important food legume crop in the world and grown in 11 million hectare area by resource poor farmers in semi-arid tropic regions. Chickpea is very important for food security in India and it contributes to income generation for improving the livelihood of poor farmers in African countries like Ethiopia and Tanzania who are exporting chickpea to India nowadays. On the other hand, chickpea makes an important component of pulse industry in Australia, Canada and now in United States. In context of the climate change as well, the crop is going to play a very important role in international agriculture, especially in developing countries. With the availability of chickpea genome sequence, we are now better equipped for genomics assisted breeding, which will greatly accelerate the breeding process for development of cultivars. Chickpea production scenario has drastically changed over the years, and chickpea is now, um, the cultivation is more now in warmer regions. And we now need cultivars which are well adapted to these warmer conditions, resilient to climate change and have grain quality which is demanded by the consumers and the industry. I'm very excited to see the development in chickpea research. We have now the genome sequence available which will provide us the genes for different stresses like drought tolerance, heat tolerance and you know the breeding programs will be well equipped uh, to develop cultivars in a shorter period for these uh, different challenges. The most important aspect of this genome project is that we have not just sequenced one different genome, but we sequenced 90 genomes, including varieties, land races and wild species of chickpea that represent 10 countries. And detailed genome analysis has provided 28,269 genes that constitute the genetic makeup of chickpea. This research has provided the genomic regions that have undergone selection pressure and have been responsible for reducing the genetic diversity in the breeding lines. This genome sequence will provide the basis for a wide range of studies such as identifying the molecular basis of a range of key agronomic traits and basic studies of chickpea biology. This is the most significant collaborative work with ICR and ECRISA along with international scientific communities of chickpea biology. This particular work will help India in understanding more on genes and handling them for biotic and abiotic stress tolerance in pulses. India is the major producer and consumer of chickpea so obviously, India will be the most beneficiary from this work. I am uh, very happy that uh, chickpea genome get uh, sequenced uh, with the involvement of ICRSAS with its partner, uh, uh, partners. Uh, so this will be an opportunity in progressing the improvement on uh, the crop. And we as a partner of the uh, chickpea improvement program will be a beneficiary of this uh, so that uh, we will get help uh, our farmers as well. This would be a, really an opportunity for uh, uh, making uh, faster progress in uh, the development of superior varieties uh, that adapt to the agroecologies in question in Ethiopian context and it would really mean also uh, uh, wealth generation, it would really mean increase or improvement in uh, productivity, production and helping the poor farmers or uh, uh, chickpea producing farmers in Ethiopia and uh, Africa and elsewhere in the world. Finally, we would like to dedicate this chickpea genome sequence to chickpea farming community across Asia, Africa and all over the world for whom ICRISAT and its partners have been working continuously to improve the livelihood of the farmers.